Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the third in a series of four videos on the topic Three Ways to Achieve Physical Rejuvenation by Alice B. Claggett. This is the third video in the series is on the topic Ramping Up Our Body of Light through Kundalini Yoga. I have a picture for you. It's free of copyright. It's by an uploader, Peer Jossie, at nl.wikipedia. And uh, it's a Creative Commons attribution share alike, 3.0 unported license, so I can show it to you here. And the title is Image of Kundalini Channels and Centers. Homemade, no copyright. It's rather colorful. Uh, you will see a silhouette of a man, and in the middle, the Kundalini winding around and and are all around him uh, a sphere that is the body of light and the body of light is what we're attempting to rejuvenate because that then rejuvenates all that's within it including the physical and subtle bodies of you in your incarnation here on earth. Here's a very short text of this video. A second technique for rejuvenating the physical form is to ramp up the energy of the heart chakra here, the heart chakra, the electromagnetic field, the whole, the whole shebang, and the life force, that, which, that within it which provides the um for continuing on in physical form, and the energies of our kundalini and our field of prana, all those things. Prana is the breathing in, the breathing out, that kind of energy our kundalini, the up and down energy of the spine that, that provides, um, provides power and purity to all of the chakras. All right, so we have all these things. We have the heart chakra. It needs to be clear and pure and powerful. The electromagnetic field, the body of light, the great giant body of light around us. That needs to be bright and strong and clear. The life force, that needs to be strong for us to persevere through times of tribulation and to create the great new on earth. Our kundalini, the up and down energy along the spine that, that gives the spin and the earth, the power to all the chakras of the body which then create the energy in our internal organs and also provide energy to our astral organelles. And lastly, our field of prana, the in-breath and the out-breath, the in-breath and the out-breath. You know, it's the field of prana that creates the pranic reserve underneath our, our rib cage that, that allows us, even at the times of low light at night, every night, to, to survive on the vitality globules that come down to us through, from heaven through the sunlight during the day. So the in-breath and the out-breath distributes the vitality globules from our pranic reserve way down here all around through our whole physical and subtle energetic system. The best way I've found of doing this is through the techniques of Kundalini Yoga as taught by Yogi Bhajan and offered through the 3HO organization. This I've found to be a reliable way of boosting the personal body of light to an expanded state that includes the transpersonal chakras. The place to go for this, because there's no need for me to recreate what's already been beautifully done, the place that I suggest you go for this is the 3HO website. It's called Healthy, Happy, Holy Organization, and then in parentheses, 3HO. And you can find it online by surfing to https colon forward slash forward slash the number 3, the letter H, the letter O dot org. And you might want to add a forward slash after that. When you get there, the tab to look for and the tab to click is entitled Kundalini Yoga. Just I have a, a caveat for you that uh, 
you know, they say when a spiritual teacher passes on, uh, after his vital force leaves the physical plane, uh, it becomes very easy for contenders, Iagos, they say, to step in and, and besmirch that person's reputation. And that happens time after time amongst people that, that mean well by the world. This is the world of duality, you know, and the very best of spiritual teachers tend to take their tumbles and make their mistakes along with everyone else, but they're much more in the limelight than other people, you know, and so their lives are, are subject to much more scrutiny than other people, and I believe that might be the case with Yogi Bhajan too, whom I knew to be, years ago, to be a really good teacher of, of Kundalini Yoga, which I consider to be his best contribution to the world. Um, so I'd like you to take into consideration, if you read bad things about spiritual teachers, to try to find the good thing that they did and promote that instead, because if we look at our own lives, we all make mistakes. We're all subject to, to the world of duality, and try though we may, you know, we're bound to create some, some darkness along with the light. So, so have charity for that person, I feel, especially someone who amongst all the yoga teachers in India was the one in the 1980s who was willing to share with Westerners techniques that had been kept secret by the saints and fakirs and uh, holy men of India for, for centuries and centuries. We have that ability right now. We have that ability to achieve um, a clear electromagnetic field through the use of kundalini yoga. The reason that I like Kundalini Yoga is not that I'm insectoid in that regard. It's rather that I've tried various yoga techniques such as Hatha Yoga, Yengar Yoga, and Kundalini Yoga. And what I found is that Kundalini Yoga achieves physical rejuvenation very quickly for those whose physical condition is such that they're able to do it. So that's why I recommend it. I think it's very quick. It can take a half hour or less. It could even take 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and it could offer that surge of rejuvenation in the electric field. And so if, if it's against your yoga inclinations, then you could go on to the third one. And the third technique has to do with um, expansion of the body of light during solar events, such as incoming coronal mass ejections that impact the electromagnetic field of Earth. And when the electromagnetic field of Earth is impacted, then the electric force and the magnetic field of us humans is also impacted. And so we can benefit from the, the light that comes into Earth from the sun in that way, and we can use it to rejuvenate our, our bodies if we have a positive attitude toward it. So you can pick what you like or pick all of them, and we'll see what, what the future holds. Uh, there's one other thing. Uh, for those of you that like none of those, I have found recently that purchasing a copper fabric, fine copper fabric, like a sheet of copper fabric from Amazon.com or wherever you can get it, and then laying it over the body briefly with plenty of room to, to breathe for 10 minutes gives the electric force in the body that surge of refined energy um, that can help and aid in rejuvenation of the body. So if none of those other techniques work for you, you could try this new one that I found. Okay, God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.